We're coming to you from Main Street today, two different ways. Find out what it's all about. Coming up next on All American People. Good morning. Welcome to All American People. This morning we're at the Conway Chamber of Commerce sitting in front of the Conway Main Street offices. We're focused on Conway Main Street and we're visiting with its executive director, Hillary Howard. Hello, Good how morning, are you doing today? Hillary. How exciting to get you in to literally to <laughs> step outside of it your office, to step onto the set. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> uh, wonderful opportunity, of course, so much brewing leading up to tomorrow, the big mm -hmm. day, it's 25th a very big annual. Day. That's right, the Rivertown Music and Arts Festival celebrating 25 years. It was one of our first events with Conway Main Street. Yeah. Uh, you know, we haven't become experts yet, but after 25 years, we've gotten pretty good at that festival. So oh, yeah. we are excited to bring it downtown yeah. again. Absolutely. And of course, for you, having seen it over the last two and a half years, I mm -hmm. think you shared and mm -hmm. monitoring all the pros and cons, right, some of the right. things that you could tweak. I mean, there's really an opportunity. Right. You continue to get it right year mm -hmm. after year after year. Well, one of the things that we've worked on a lot that really brings a lot of new and different folks downtown is the car show aspect of it. Right. We partner with Shakura Car Club to do a classic car and truck show. We bring over 100 vehicles to the downtown area for this no. show. Um, we're actually sort of taking up some more street of the downtown to park those vehicles, which is always a good problem to have. Yes. But that's really only one part of the festival. We have the car show, we have arts and crafts, um, some great food uh, right. vendors, and we have music from noon to 9 p.m. So oh, right. it's a nice variety. Uh, and some of those musical acts are acts that play downtown Conway often, so they're really those locals' favorites. Right. And some are the ones we bring in. We have Soul Driven Train coming in from Charleston. Oh, fantastic. Uh, and I laugh a little because people describe them as um, Swamp Rock. Ooh, what's swamp, what's swamp Rock? rock. Swamp Rock, uh, reggae meets Paul Simon, okay? Wow. <laughs> but once you hear them, that all You'll makes know. a lot more sense. Yeah. But they're very much about the low country, oysters and lighthouses in the ocean. So they're our headliner uh, for tomorrow and they're gonna go on at uh, 730 so okay. it's gonna be a very very busy day and that's in addition to all the regular shops and restaurants we have right, in downtown right. Conway. Well we want to talk more about the festival and mm -hmm. the big day tomorrow but real quick about mm -hmm. yourself Hillary you originally from the area? Uh, I actually came to Conway via Atlanta spent some time in Atlanta I was very involved with the Main Street program in Stone Mountain Georgia there Great. Uh, sort of helped from the inception of the Commission to growing uh, that program we were very excited last fall to go back uh, for the ribbon cutting on their streetscape program and oh, the yeah. unveiling of their grant dollars uh, for that so it was exciting to see that conclusion of that and I love the Main Street program and when we came to Conway my family and I we knew this was home because it had that Main Street feel that we were looking for. That is exciting mm -hmm. Hillary you say the Main Street program mm -hmm. for viewers who may not be familiar what yeah. is the Main Street program? Mm -hmm. It's a national movement by the National Trust for Historic Preservation it was started in in the early 80s, what we saw in the late 70s, there was this new concept. Uh, and we laugh about it now because it's certainly not new now, but in the late 70s, there was this brand new thing, the mall. The oh. strip mall, the mall. You could yeah. go to one roof and do all your shopping. No one had heard about this before. Right. Yeah. And at that time, all of your main streets wanted to compete with the mall concept. So if you were thinking about retiring, you went ahead and retired. If you wanted to compete in the new industry, you moved to the mall. So you were stuck with this void in our downtown districts. Right. And what were you supposed to do? They were drying up. They were turning into a ghost town. So a lot of main streets turned to competing with the malls and that's where you saw those metal facades go up uh, oh, yeah. in the early 80s you saw whole street blocks being painted one solid color because they wanted to be right, the, mall. the mall and and they they just weren't so downtowns were, were really drying up so Conway was one of those towns that they're just the stores that had been there forever were going away new stores weren't coming in so a group of citizens got together and decided well, what are we going to do about our downtown how are you going to make it more competitive right. in this new market and that's how conway main street started um, we started 
uh, the program in 86 officially. Oh, right. Uh, so obviously, there's a little bit of work up to that, you know, just over the door. anniversary doors. right mm -hmm. now. That's right. How so it's 25 years this year. Uh, but there are a lot of the founding members that are still involved today, that their names that you know and recognize in the downtown scene, and those right. were the people that brought the Main Street movement to Conway. And the movement is a four-point approach. Oh, good, yes. Kind of like an intersection, if you will. So you have promotion, design, economic enhancement, and organization. And those four points drive the Main Street program. Now, each of those have their own role, if you will. But right. you saw those programs being developed across the country. And we just happen to be one of the first ones to really embrace that concept. Yes. And now, you know, it is a national movement, the National right. Trust for Historic Pre Preservation has a Main Street Center de dedicated just to Main Street programs. But really? And it varies state by state. Some states might have 50 Main Street programs, some might have 8 to 10, more like South Carolina. More like South Carolina. Mm -hmm. Well, Conway must have been one of the first in the state. It was one of, one of the very first in the state. How That's exciting. Right. That's and right. to see that kick off and to have someone on a national basis able to mm -hmm. really help a small community That's like right. Conway or for our viewers in the PD and Marion mm -hmm. is another good Marianne example of, a, uh, of a place well. that has a great Main Street program mm -hmm. to know there was someone on a national basis helping to push right. this and give them some of their right. tried and true examples uh, really must have helped. Like any, any program, it ebbs and flows. The beginning of most programs are a beautification process, a peeling away of everything that's been applied, so to speak, to your Main right. Street to make it uh, more competitive. But when it comes right down to it, everyone wants that original Main Street. They want to see the bricks and mortar. They want yeah. to see uh, those mature trees. So that it all starts with the beautification process, and then you move into events and activities. And you talked you about promotion. There. I'm fascinated for folks yeah. who didn't grow up in a community that would have a Main Street, mm -hmm. who grew up, let's say, in a big apartment complex right. or in a bigger city where they may not understand the significance of a Main Street. Mm -hmm. Are there ways to reach them to give them a sense of what it was like? years ago and how mm -hmm. important a Main Street atmosphere really right. is. Right. Well, um, Main Streets were the hub of the community. Certainly, as anyone who's seen any photograph from the 1950s, you saw, mm -hmm. you know, people parked on the corner, going into the drugstore, having the right. soda. It was the hub. It's where you went to get all, all the news. That and church, what else What else was there yeah. to do? Yeah, And the barber. Yeah, and the barber. Sorry. People were turning back, are turning back to that now yeah. as well. Almost more away from that subdivision concept, if yeah. you will, and they want that hometown feel they want a place to belong oh, we are very coast, close to coastal carolina university yes and we um, seek to identify with the students as their hometown away from home That's if great. you will and maybe not just for the promotions and the shopping but for those service industries that they might be looking for you have students that are miles and miles from home and they have a flat tire where do they go they're sick with the sore throat where do they right. go we want to be their hometown yes and so you really want them to come to conway main street truly mm -hmm. i mean that's down right to this. that's and right when we think about main street what are the the borders of Conway Main Street? Well, we are just the historic district, so it's a tight little five block radius. Okay. The Waccamaw River borders us on two sides, and it's also a lot of dr a draw for our tourists that come to the area. It's a sure. black water river. Uh, we have a river walk that goes along that area, so yes. a lot of tourists come just to see that natural um, resource, but then we also go to Fifth Avenue, which is marked by our Horry County Museum. Oh, it's good, yeah. History of the area and the Horry County Courthouse, the historic courthouse on our um, left side. So it's a small little block, but most of the hub of our downtown activities do take place within those borders. And any type of promotional activity event that we're putting on is probably going to take place within those borders as well. Sure, sure. Now, you, I suspect, to Hillary, since your office is here in the yeah. Conway <laughs> Chamber, it's not an extensive office principally you you must have a lot of volunteers <laughs> we do really helping you don't we have to do. hang their hats here but are here mm -hmm. to cheerlead you on to support mm -hmm. you and I'm sure you cheer them on right. to keep them active and, and focused right. on the four-point approach we work with the board of directors as well as our four points committee and then oftentimes if there's a special event going on we'll set aside a planning committee so just directly within those committees we have 50 to 100 regular volunteers that help wow. us but that doesn't include our membership base or uh, volunteers that come in you know for a festival to help work backstage at a with a yes, band that type yes. of thing so there's quite a huge uh, group of volunteers and again bringing up the university we 
love to welcome our student interns each semester. This oh, was right. um, the final week for our student interns that are heading off to graduation. Right. So we feel that's just one more way to make a tie uh, with the college and hopefully build some futures for those students that they can give back in nonprofits in their future communities Oh, as well. absolutely. Hillary, what got you ultimately interested in Main Street <laughs> in the beginning? Was it something like this? Was it um, a college experience or? Well, I Prior to in, doing that in Stone uh, Mountain, I worked you said in nonprofit in, right. in college. I've always worked in nonprofit, and I grew up in a very small town that in Pennsylvania that didn't have a Main Street program, but a similar type program. And I just didn't even think about it till, as you said, when you move to that uh, apartment community, that suburbia, if you will, right. you tend to miss that downtown sure. uh, feeling. So it's nice to be involved and get to know the the faces and the people that make your downtown what it is. Right, right. For uh, let, Let's break down those four points again. Mm -hmm. If you say that you said promotion, uh -huh. design, I believe, uh -huh. economic enhancement, and then organization. Right, so right. the four committees mm -hmm. are, is it one committee that's the four point committee or there's, four separate? There's a committee for each of those. I'll oh, talk okay. about design committee, for yeah, example. Please. Um, they do public improvement projects that could be anything from a hanging flower baskets to working on having a mural painted or something like that. But right. one of the main things that they do is we have facade grants that mm -hmm. if you are a store owner in the downtown, downtown property owner, you can apply for a facade grant. The facade is just the front exterior of your building. You could right. have an awning, you could have your bricks repointed, you could do maintenance painting. Uh, right. So that committee reviews those design submissions and can award matching grants wow. for that process, especially if you're a new business coming in. You might just need a little something to spruce up before you open. So sure. that's one of the main things that that, that group does. Um, and again, as we talked about, as your program, your Main Street program ebbs and flows, so right. does that committee, depending oh, yeah. on what the, the need is. Economic enhancement, uh, I call it the wish you were here committee, mm. seeking out those businesses and saying, this is what we have to offer. These are the incentives. Here are the properties available. We get a lot of phone calls, a lot of emails. I'm thinking of opening up a blah, blah, blah. Right. Can you tell me about the need in the community? What's available to house us? What type of competition I might have? Sure. We do that all the time. That's and good it is, it's, it's nice to be able to grab those folks who are interested in being here in Conway from the beginning and pull them in and have them, you know, start in on the ground floor that they know exactly what they're getting when they come to Conway. And sometimes it's not always a good fit, to be very honest. Oh, yeah, but sure. It's good to, to know that up front, too. Uh, organization, just what it is. Right. Uh, they help run the organization. They uh, are an advisory committee. They run our annual meeting, help out with the fundraiser. They have a little bit of their hands in everything, right. if you will. Right. They help us, yes. like like you said, I'm kind of one woman show here, so they are, are my right hand, if right. you will. They are my right hand. I like that. <laughs> and I like then, that. Um, Promotions committee. Sure. That's the one that a lot of people know the most about. Know those people, they yeah. plan all of those events that happen downtown. you've got downtown. a ton of them. We're going to talk we about do. some of those in a second, we including sure the big one tomorrow, but a heck good. of a lot of events. And promotion mm -hmm. is so critical, particularly when you're talking about a, a five block area that mm -hmm. people really know all those nooks That's and right. crannies. That's right. They know what all is going on here. But I love that idea about economic development. And for a viewer who may be interested, mm -hmm. if you were in anywhere in our viewing area, may be interested in thinking yeah. about downtown Conway, Conway Main Street is an area, what would be the best phone number? And do you all have a website for them uh -huh. to visit to learn more about Conway Main That's Street. Correct. We can always give us a call at 843-248-6260. Okay. Our website is ConwayMainStreet.com and we do have photos on there as available properties if you want Good. to take a peek. Yes. And we're very active in Facebook too. Well, Facebook's Facebook. always going to have what's coming up in our downtown area Okay, well. that's perfect. So folks who'd find that, they could probably find a link to your Facebook page mm -hmm. from ConwayMainStreet.com. Mm -hmm. And of course, you know, we'll try anything. We do texting service too, so we can, oh. you can text 77007 and okay. find out what's happening too. That's <laughs> tremendous. Well, I'm glad you're cutting edge. A lot we of folks <laughs> uh, need that and they wouldn't do anything right. other than that's be right. cutting edge. So that's it's good right. to know that mm -hmm. uh, downtown Conway is, is that way. And there's probably that uh, the interchange of words, Main Street, Conway, Conway, Main Street, mm -hmm. downtown, Conway, you fit. You can wear all those. You feel like you can really wear we, all those hats. You, we'll, we'll take what we can get with that. No, yes. but officially we're Conway Main Street. Right. Um, most of our marketing tools for any of our events 
our events are hosted in downtown Conway. Sure, mm -hmm. sure. How exciting, Hillary. Well, let's talk a little more about tomorrow's big event. Uh -huh. You broke that down, but for folks who may not be able to be right. out all day that yeah. day, you may have some activities going on in the morning or mm -hmm. even in the evening. What are, is there anything they've got to see? I mean, what is it they've well, got to come to? If I had my right. way and I had three hours to spend, yes. I might try to hit um, at two o'clock. Right. Come at two, you're going to catch the end of the car show and the awards for the car show. Oh, great. Your arts and crafts are still going to be going on. Right. Uh, your food vendors will be set up so you can maybe fit in a late lunch. Yeah. I'm uh, going to catch the end of some of our more community entertainment and slide right into the, our headliner acts. Right. Uh, the Swamp Rock. We, yeah, <laughs> Swamp Blue Rock. Crack. At 4.30 we have sea crews going on. So that's oh, good. beach music, some okay. shagging. So that's, uh, you know, family friendly. So yeah. that's where I would maybe, if I only had a couple hours had a to couple spend. Hours, you'd say two to five, but to ultimately five. it is again. It kicks off what uh -huh. time tomorrow? 10 a.m. in the morning. 10 a to 9 p. That's okay, right. so exactly. if they've got, if they've got 11 hours to spend, <laughs> be out right. here all day. <laughs> if you just give us an hour, we'll breakfast, <laughs> lunch, and dinner <laughs> here. And yeah. you can do that. Is that downtown. right? Okay. Well, yeah, really, that's one thing that people don't realize. We are yeah. a casual dining destination. When yeah. you really stop and think about what is available downtown restaurants are the most prevalent and it is anything from a hot dog at yeah. winter city cafe okay. to rivertown bistro to crady's which are more upscale fine right. dining so right. everything in between chinese to italian is there breakfast a, here available there is there okay. is um, carolina skillet which okay. is a corner breakfast shop right um so it, and we also have the trestle, which is breakfast and uh, donuts and pastries sure. and wedding cakes. So. That is tremendous. Yeah. Well, that's a good thing. I don't. I don't think I'd ever thought about mm -hmm. breakfast opportunities, but mm -hmm. they've got to be. And yep. you've got a lot of folks here during the breakfast time that uh, right. truly have needs, particularly with the courthouse mm -hmm. being one of your border areas and the, right. over, uh, over near the judicial center. There's mm -hmm. a probably a heck of a lot of people oh, here during they have the day. About that two thousand what we call transient employees. They're here for the day, right. but they're here to eat. Yeah, breakfast lunch and dinner some yeah. of them because it depends on what their work schedule is but definitely they they do pop populate our restaurants for breakfast that and lunch. is wonderful mm -hmm. how about some of the other big events we've only got about five minutes uh -huh. Hillary I want to make sure we're able to highlight the the silver yeah. anniversary is tomorrow with the Rivertown Arts and Music and Arts mm -hmm. Festival but there's also I believe something else going on tomorrow Far farmers market farmers market kicks off we run our farmers market May through October okay in great. downtown Conway this is our third year we are located right in the historic downtown in an old um, brick livery stable so it's nice under shelter if it's raining or if it's too hot. Right. Uh, that has been very, very successful. We have 20 to 30 vendors depending on the season. Great. And we also do include handcrafted items as well. We have one gentleman who handcrafts wooden vessels who sells them at our farmer's market. It has to be mm. handcrafted, handmade, hand grown. Is oh, sort of our boy, motto yes. there. Handcrafted, but handmade, handgrown. Hand Very right. nice. But we, we enjoy it, and I myself am out there every Saturday because you just you can't beat that, what, yeah. what's available at the farmer's market. And that's located where? So it, mm -hmm. during the festival tomorrow, will yep. it be uh, kind of well, spread out tomorrow, throughout? Tomorrow, if you were here for the festival and you were looking at the stage and looked to your right, you'd be right there at the farmer's market. The okay. address is 217 Laurel Street. Great. You need to plug that into the GPS. Yes, yes. Uh, but it's uh, hidden behind um, Rivertown Bistro. Right. and Crafty Rooster, some of those restaurants right there, but uh, it's very, very busy on Saturdays from 8 to 1 are the okay. hours for the farmers market. 8 to 1, so mm -hmm. folks can come out a little early before yep. the Rivertown, sure, yeah. the big event kicks that's off. That's right, that's right. That's tremendous. Hilly, what about Win the Window? I saw that <laughs> kicking off here in yep. July. Well, you know, in South Carolina, as, as in many places in the South, it is hot in the summer. Yeah, it is hot. Yeah. Uh, so we kind of take it down a notch a little bit in the summer. Right. You know, we need to breathe a little. But we are doing this July, Win the Window, that our downtown merchants are donating an item to the window. And let's say it's cufflinks. Right. So you see cufflinks, you have to find the store that has the cufflinks that match. Oh, boy. Once okay. you make so many matches, you're entered to win, and you can win everything in the window. So it could be cufflinks, suits, dinner, wine, right. sporting goods, curtains, jewelry. Yes. Wow. Uh, so Where will the window be? It's going to be located right along Main Street. We will in unveil it. <laughs> yes. To be announced. Right, right. Uh, but we will 
open that up the end of June and the okay. contest will run the whole month of July. Fantastic. So one of those things that you don't have to come and sweat it out one whole day. You can work through it on the month, but right. a very valuable prize. That is you, huge. You can win a lot of interesting things, but that's that's one of the new things we're trying. I say we'll try anything that's once. That's a brilliant <laughs> idea. Now, of course, there are a lot of other great mm -hmm. things kicked off in other Main Street programs yep. throughout not only South Carolina, but throughout the country. Mm -hmm. A little nibbles that's that y'all right. can pick up on mm -hmm. and ultimately probably some great ideas that That's have right. occurred here that other communities have picked up. Right. Don't, it's don't recreate it, steal it. Um, right. yeah. The chocolate walk we did in February was an example of that. Each of right. our businesses um, had a chocolate treat that they made and Good. you could tour 30 businesses and taste chocolate. We had chocolate covered bacon. We had chocolate wow. fountains. We had chocolate cheese balls, you name it. Um, one wow. lady, actually, I don't know how she restrained herself, but she collected up all her chocolate. She had over eight pounds of chocolate before that day My was over. Lord. So, but that's a good yeah. example of, you know, we can put them on and make them look good, but probably we just stole it and <laughs> recreated yeah. it yes. for Conway. Yes. Golly, eight pounds of chocolate yep. from those 30 different locales. Yep, that's right, that's right. That's mm -hmm. incredible, Hillary. Well, let's talk about some of the other yeah. events you've got a community yard. Oh, of course, I, I want to see say your Conway crawl, uh -huh. which occurs on Thursday, Thursday night. So nights. there's one last night. And, yep. and of course, so what, what is that for viewers who may mm -hmm. not be familiar with Conway crawl? Thursday nights, um, our businesses stay open late and we have some sort of entertainment or activities. We try to theme it out. First Thursday is a concert in the streets, closed down the streets. Right. Second Thursday is game night. It's ladder golf and cornhole and uh, yard darts, just fun yeah, games. Yeah. The third Thursday is usually some sort of planned activity. We have done a sock cock. Uh, we've done a grown folks egg hunt. So oh, I love it. a little Easter bit different. Hunt, yeah. And then the final Thursday of each month is our street corner musicians oh. that we invite, sort of New Orleans feel, if you will. We yeah. invite musicians just to come in, set up on the corner, play for tips, and you know, play whatever you want, whether you're a vocalist, guitar, banjo, drums, right. you know, we don't care. Come wow. in and, you know, have a little have a little show. <laughs> yeah, down. That's tremendous. That's yes. what we're trying to build um, in this area to the bring, Conway crawl. bring more of the arts vibe back. The economy has hit a lot of our artists very hard in these times, but bring back more of an arts feel. Mm, well, that is very <clears throat> important. A community yard sale, sidewalk sales, pumpkin float. Yeah. How about a snowball drop? <laughs> that, that is was, one of my favorites. Yeah, yeah. Um, we take a thousand ping pong balls. Well, this past year it was a thousand. So yeah. The number goes up every year, and our merchants write discounts, giveaways, free prizes on the ping pong balls. Okay. And then we rely on our lovely fire department, and they put up the ladder and climb up and dump the snowballs, the ping pong balls, if you will, down to the waiting crowd. Uh, the first year we did that, when we said we'd like to drop a thousand ping balls, ping, you know, ping, ping pong balls, balls from yeah. the sky, we got a funny look. But uh, this past year, we had almost 500 people in attendance. Is that, that right? Event. Waiting for waiting the balls for their to ping drop. Pong balls. And where does that occur? Uh, last year we did it on Third Avenue. Yeah. We we have sort of moved it around, around. cuz as the number of ping pong balls grows, yeah. <laughs> the number of crowd people grow, you got to move it a little bit. But we'll be doing we'll be doing no that one again. No one's found any stray ping pong balls. So. <laughs> I'll never tell. I'll no, never that's tell. Right, Easter eggs, right. yes, but no. <laughs> yes, that is hilarious. Of course, the, you mentioned the chocolate walk. Rivertown mm -hmm. Christmas is probably something that's yeah. been around a while. I think it I've sure heard about has. that. It sure has. It's been around pretty much from the beginning. Carriage rides, visits with Santa, all our shops stay open late. And one of the things that's sort of grown out of that that you know, never really plan is our beautiful window displays. You just don't see that anymore. To stroll downtown and oh, take yeah. in that window display that's one of a kind. It's not right. cookie cutters, not big box. That's become just meandering the streets and enjoying those those windows has become a, a big drop at Christmas time. That is tremendous. Well, to think some of these have gone on a long time. Some of them are new. Assumably, those will go on a long time. Gathering of the Green, I wanted to ask yeah, you about real quick. Yeah, that's a brand new one. St. Okay. Patrick's Day. We don't Good. really do anything for St. Patrick's Day. Tried it this just this year. Closed the streets. Um, did some fire breathing and juggling and music and just, you know, threw right. it out to Good. see what, what would stick. And we had a, a great turnout. Uh, and it just brought a new element to downtown that we haven't had before for St. Pat's. Maybe we'll wonderful. get to dye the river next year. Yes, I like that. That <laughs> Black it. River Green, that would be a chore. That would be a chore. How can viewers get involved, Hillary? Mm -hmm. Well, 
we welcome any type of volunteer, whether they're interested in sitting on a committee, working one of our events, even just coming and answering the phone in the office, we would be more than welcome to have someone. And they can just give us a call or visit that website at ConwayMainStreet.com okay. or ring us up at 843-248-6260. Well, you've made the wrap very easy. Thanks <laughs> Thank so you. much. Great to be with you. Stay tuned for a little more All American People with Hillary Howard coming up next. ConwayMainStreet.com. You got it. ConwayMainStreet.com or 843-248-6260. Great opportunity. Get involved. Special and get out here tomorrow for the 25th annual Rivertown Music and Arts Festival from 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. It'll be a celebration in more ways than you know. Get on out here. Thanks again, Hillary. Thank you.